Hey guys, this is Kirk Kennedy back with video 21. We're going to be dealing with plant responses and adaptations. Uh, now when we talk about plants, we have to talk about the hormones that control them. And hormone is simply a chemical substance that controls the plant's patterns of growth, development, maybe how it responds to its environment. Now there are four hormones that I want you to know for the test. The first one is an auxin. An auxin stimulates cell elongation. Now what that means is if we had a cell that was here this big, it would cause that cell to elongate, make it longer. Um, this one's actually going to be used in phototropism a little bit while, a little while later. Uh, cytokinins are next. They stimulate cell division and growth. I think that makes sense. It's going to make one cell into two cells and the four cells, etc. Gibberellins are increase the size of the stem or the fruit. This would be really important if you were a farmer that was interested in growing crops. Uh, potatoes or apples or oranges or grapes, you'd want larger ones. Gibberellins would be important. And then ethylene. Ethylene is a ripener. Uh, we used to call it banana ripener when I was growing up. We would spray it on tobacco plants and cause the tips of the tobacco plant to ripen faster so that we can harvest it. Um, but ethylene, you probably are more familiar with it with bananas. The more ethylene around a banana, the quicker the banana ripens. Now, when we talk about plants' responses, we have to look at the different types of tropisms that there are. Tropism is simply a plant's response to an external stimulus. And the first one is phototropism, and you can see the picture over here to the right. The picture shows that this plant bending toward the light. That's phototropism. Hydrotropism is a plant's response to water. I actually don't have a picture of it, but hydro means water. Tropism is a plant's response to water. And I like to think of it like... Um, if you've ever been around a pond or a river and you see the trees growing over the pond or the river, or, or the river, then that, that's hydro. They're, they're attracted to the water. Uh, if you're a golfer and never been on a bent grass green before, the bent grass will actually lay toward the water. It actually causes your ball to break that way. So that would be hydrotropism. Geotropism is seen over here to the right. This picture over here shows plant seeds. No matter which orientation they're planted in, that the root tends to always grow downward and you can see it this this roots growing down this roots growing down this roots growing down no matter which way the seed is planted and the shoots growing upward so that is geotropism or a plant's response to gravity and the last one is thigmotropism thigmotropism is a plant's response to touch and oftentimes we think of pole beans uh, such as over here you can see you can see the plant growing up by attaching to the different plants. So that is thigmotropism. Now, the next one is plant adaptations. Uh, when you think about plant adaptation, you can maybe talk about an aquatic environment or in an arid environment. In an aquatic environment, that would be like the seeds being able to float, uh, having enough oxygen, water, etc. And to be in a desert environment, it would be like a, a xerophyte. There are a lot of xerophyte uh, plants these days that people put in their yards that are able to contain water and keep water for longer periods of time. Now, if we think about stomata on a plant, you, a stomata, if I were to draw one, a stomata has a guard cell around each side of the stomata. And this guard cell controls the opening and closing of the plant. So here would be the opening right here of the plant. If you're in an, a watery environment, then the stomata would probably be open to allow water and oxygen and other chemicals to leave the plant. But if you're in a desert plant, then the stomata would actually be closed, which would uh, prevent water from leaving the plant. All right, I hope this has helped you a little bit with plant responses, and have a wonderful day.